basically you see a lot of people that that start to like pick up rocks and stuff like that and you start to try to persuade them uh with advantage roll a persuasion check in the tower please i figured that much well the fact i'm wearing actually very nice robes and so on of common quality of course but yeah, i keep them up you. very nicely with the power of jesus yeah, so basically you get the Jesus. sense that you see all these people and they start picking stuff up and they, they start acting like they're... You, you get the sense that they're going to start hurling things at you guys. Um, and, and But what you're able to do is you're able to start talking to them and, and you at least start being able to talk some sense into them and it, it, you seem to stop them from starting to like hurl rocks and, and you know sticks and everything that they can possibly get their hands on at you but it seems like they're holding these things and they seems like they're still agitated uh and it, it doesn't seem like anything you're gonna do is gonna stop the anger but you do talk them out of any kind of violence um, um now anyone... there's no need for violence here we can be civil about this anyone who wants to can roll an arcana check within the tower please You knew I was going to do it. <laughs> yeah, so, Chris Lee, the, the sense you get is that you, you can't tell what it is, but you can tell that um, it, something magical is causing the the higher emotions here. Uh, it, it's something is causing these people to be a little bit more fearful and rageful than they probably should be. It, it seems like some kind of, uh, uh, you know, it's hard to explain, but it basically seems like there's some kind of magical force in the area that is stoking this fear and rage. Hmm. I'm looking about where whereabouts it would be. And I'm going to whisper to the rest, there's some, there's magical disturbance nearby. Yeah, we look around, do we see anybody who's like calmly watching the proceedings from the sidelines or from a vantage point? Everyone can roll a perception in the tower. Yeah, so you can all get the sense that it seems like something, you know, unnatural is, is stirring them. Um, but you can't pinpoint a specific thing that's doing this. Uh, it, it just seems to be something in the area. And and the crowd just seems to start getting uh, more and more riled up, although you continue to, to talk them down from, from starting any violence. Uh, and the confrontation with the crowd uh, is interrupted all of a sudden by a loud explosion. Uh, the spell of sulfur assaults your senses. And uh, basically, uh, uh, down the, the road there to the... Uh, east of you, um, basically uh, two horrible creatures emerge from a fire that was previously being used to roast chestnuts. Uh, these creatures are undoubtedly demonic in origin. Uh, although they are child-sized, their bloated, rotting bodies and sharp claws display their dangerous corruption. Uh, nearby, two similar creatures step out of a vendor's vat of boiling water. A mound of loose earth spawns two more. Uh, that in another area there too. Uh, basically, the mob at the sight of these things pretty much uh, scatter, uh, and basically their their flight is punctuated with accusations toward the red wizard. Um, Thundrazi simply sighs and goes, "Of course," before moving to shield uh, some pair of children from the creature. So she starts to kind of. Uh, deal with some other creatures that aren't the ones that I told you about, and she's protecting some children from them. Okay. I'd say that to uh, the, the creatures. Okay. Oops, I forgot to clear my wounds from last one. <laughs> I've fixed it now. Uh, one sec. Uh, oh, I'm uh, tell oh, the party they are not friendly. I did not figure that. I figured we're gonna have to. 
I'm gonna have to blit her in with cold. Everyone roll initiative. It seems I was anticipating this. Okay, so she she gets between uh, one of the one and the children. So she's she's tying one of the six up that you saw, but the other five are, are still out and about. <sighs> you can begin, Chris. Great. Is there a map or no map? Oh, for sorry. This one? Yeah, there is, is a map. It? Sorry, I thought I shared it already. I didn't. I'm like, wait a minute. If there's a map, there. Sorry, mm. I I was even explaining like where you were when the crowd was forming using this map and I didn't realize you didn't even <laughs> see it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, off to the the right there is that's kind of where you saw the ex heard the explosion as you can see there's like even like some debris and stuff like that from from that area there. So there was an explosion in the corner of that building there. Uh and the chestnut ones were to the right there and then two others came out of some dirt. Uh, to the north, and one came out of a boiling pot to the south there, and that one to the south, one of the, the mains is being dealt with by the Red Wizard, and, and she's protecting some children from it. So the five other ones are the ones that you kind of have to deal with. There are three buildings in ruins here. Sorry, what? There are three buildings that have uh, uh, fallen walls. Oh, wow! I love that, love that roll! Ah. Hate resistance. Yep. Cold resistance, yeah. No matter which way I go, I'm going to get hit by something. We should have hidden uh, behind us or uh, to the left. But anyway. I was trying to go, I was trying to determine. Yeah, I knew something was going to like that can happen. So it hits. Wow, these things only have plus two to hit, too. <laughs> I'm gonna be down. Yep. Uh, so, wow, you're holding on there. <laughs> by, you're holding on by a thread there. Because he rolled, what, minimum damage? Yep. Oh no. no. I only need minimum. And yep. I'm the closest to where everyone's going to hit first. Oh no, but those two hit you. Wow, these guys are good. Uh, 
I'm almost going down too. Yeah. Leave it to the things that only have attack plus two to actually get lucky on the rolls. Holy. Uh, Lopan goes down. Holy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, leave it to that. Leave it to you getting. Leave it to those weak ones with not a lot of bonuses to actually do the best. Yeah, like all those other things I was hitting with were plus three and plus five, like if you count the ones from yesterday. And these ones have plus two, and every single one of them hit, and two of them, I think, crit. Oh, no, one crit only, but wow. Uh, so Lopan uh, does a death save. Uh, Frumpy, you're up. There's a heal here, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Um, well, I guess what I'm going to do... I'm going to use my action to cure wounds on Lopan. Very nice. Very nice. And I'm going to use my bonus action to healing word, Chrisley. And so don't get hit anymore because those are the only <laughs> two spells I have. I figured that. <laughs> so that's that'll do it for me. Couldn't even take my actions. I, I honestly can't believe that. Like, I've never seen rolls work like that so well in a row. <laughs> okay, sir, so they... Uh, lightning damage. Light, uh, elect, lightning damage. They resist lightning. They resist cold. Maybe they resist magic. That was a nice low damage roll, at least. Next roll, no matter what, I'm going down. Maybe they'll just finally miss. <laughs> I mean, they're due to miss. <laughs> wow. Almost going down again. I'm telling you, it's these rolls. That's the thing about <laughs> about fantasy Punch crowds. Them you can't hide those rolls. If they happen, they happen. <laughs> those heels pretty much did a perfect okay. grid job, though. Uh, try to hit one with my quarter step. Dying. So, see? <laughs> yeah, they don't have a lot of health. Mains don't. And I will kick another one. Yeah, so you pretty much, you know, it's it seems like the, the lightning and the frost didn't do too well, but one punch, one, or one quarter staff hit, one kick, pretty much take these things down pretty easy. They're resistant to magic. All you know so far is they seem to be resistant to cold and lightning. I feel they're all the resistant I, to all magic. I will use a key point to take a uh, dodge action. 